I'm going to do a little screening tool with you um, to see how your memory's doing. And so the first part of it is I'm going to say three words and ask you to repeat them and then see if you can remember them in a few minutes. And in, in between times, I'm going to ask you to draw the face of a clock on the reverse of this paper, okay? The hands of a clock? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the first thing is I want to tell you three words and have you repeat them. And the three words are pony, apple, and quarter. Can you repeat them just so I know you heard it right? Pony, apple, and quarter? Yes. Okay. That, that was a question. <laughs> mm -hmm. See if you can remember those, all right? Pony, apple, and quarter? Correct. Okay. I have to get a mental picture. Can you put the numbers in the circle like a face of a clock? And can you fill in all of them? I think so. Okay. And then can you put the hands to show the time 8.20? Great. Now, I think that's right. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It is. I've never had to draw a clock before. <laughs> uh -huh. It's one of those things you see all the time, and then when you're asked no, to show it, I said three words before. Do you remember what any of them are? I didn't save them in my bank. Okay. All right. Give me a hint. Okay. The first one was pony. It's, it's hard to do, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, I, usually when I want to remember something, I make a mental picture mm -hmm. of it. And I didn't, didn't make any mental pictures. That's a good technique. That is a very good technique. Uh, Mrs. K, can you tell me what the date is? No. What about the year? I think it's 2008. Correct. I think. Mm -hmm. See, when you don't need anything, you don't use it. Mm -hmm. I don't have need to use the days or anything. I do need to know, know Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And, but the mm -hmm. rest of the week, I don't mm -hmm. care. I mean, it's unimportant. Do you know what day of the week it is today? It's a weekday. Is it Tuesday? Close. Wednesday? Yep, you got it. I knew it was Mm -hmm. It was around in there somewhere. What season is it outside? It's going on summer. Mm -hmm. it's springy. Mm -hmm. And do you know what month it is? Is it May or April? It's April. April. Mm -hmm. And do you, do you know what the date is or do you want to take a stab at it? I know it's toward the end. I don't know. Okay. I mean, see, the reason I, uh, I'm not making excuses for my bad memory, mm -hmm. but I don't have to have it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I really need it for anything, if I'm dating a letter or something, I got a calendar right there beside my bed. Right. And I've got one by the desk. Mm -hmm. And the pace, I can ask somebody or go look somewhere. Yeah. I, in fact, I don't need it, but I know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and, and Friday, especially Monday and Friday. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But the middle three. <laughs> right. I think a lot of people do what you do because, like, people who wear watches that have the day of the week or the date on them because it's just one less thing you have to keep track of. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I don't need it. Mm -hmm. why, why do I need it? If I need it, I'll go look it up. Right. I do that with a lot of things now. Okay, okay. I used to clutter up my mind with more stuff than I would ever use. Mm -hmm. And 
Now I not only <laughs> don't need it or anything, I just don't do it. Mm -hmm. Well, can you tell me what the city is that we live in? St. Louis, isn't it? Yeah. And what's the state? The state is Missouri. Yeah. Um, can you tell me what building we're in or where the building is? It's a psychology department at St. Louis University. Okay. And um, do you know what floor we're on? I think it's the first floor. Okay. I'm not sure, but we... I don't think we came up any steps and we did take an elevator. Okay, all right. We just came in and went down the hall. Um, oh, can you spell the word world? World? Mm hmm I mean W-H-I-R-L-E-D or W-R-L-D. The second one, <laughs> but I like the way you think. <laughs> can you try to spell that backwards? Which one? <laughs> the second one. D E L R I W R R D L R O W. You're good. <laughs> All right, I might as well just throw this away. Those in one of my the banks <laughs> in my brain. <laughs> you are good. That's the fastest I've ever heard anyone do that backwards. Um, can you tell me well, the see, name? That goes with my personality, which is backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Takes one to know one. Can you tell me what the word for this is? Ballpoint pen. Yeah, what are these I'm called? I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. And what's the word for these? Glasses. Right. Or bifocals. They're regular. I haven't quite gotten to the bifocal stage yet, but we'll see. Um, can you say no ifs, ands, or buts? Oh, that's one of my favorites, no ifs, ands, or buts. All right. Yeah, it's a good, um, I'm putting my foot down kind of statement. No, we have the answer but. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to ask you to do three things in a row. Can you raise your hand, wave at me, and then touch your head? Raise my hand. Mm -hmm. Hi. Good. All right. Perfect. <laughs> First of all, can you read this and do what it says? Sure. Close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Now, can you copy this? Sure with your eyes open. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> you have a very steady hand. Now while you have this with you, can you make up a sentence and write it down? That's a sentence. I think I have a subject predicate. Let's see. Well, at least I am not bored. Bored today. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, do you have any questions for me? Yeah, what is this going to be used for? This is going to be used to instruct social work students and future social workers how to interview older adults. Oh. Mm hmm. So it's going to be distributed. You don't ask all adults those questions, do you? Um, older adults, yeah, we do as part of a social work assessment. Really? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. That'd a little be kind of fun. It is. Some of the answers you you would get um, things. Mm hmm Those questions. It is. It's it's really a neat job of getting to know people. I'm sure you enjoyed that in your work too. Some are kind of strange, I bet, and then the others funny. Yeah. Mm hmm some just blank stare too. <laughs> yeah, get some of those sometimes too, sure. Depending on the age. Mm -hmm. Well, Mrs. K, I'm really thankful that you did the interview with me today. I think it's going to be really instructive for students to see oh, good. how to interview. I'm glad to be of service. Thank you. It's made my day. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed Maybe it. My week. Hmm. Maybe my month and year. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> we can only hope. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It made you smile. Yeah, yeah. So.